Hello golfers and welcome to University Ridge Golf Course in Madison, Wisconsin. Brought to you by The Birdie Book, Wisconsin's statewide discount golf book. Today we will be doing a quick review of why you should stop by this fantastic golf course located in southwest Dane County. You're taking a peek at the entrance here, uh, which as you can see is uh, perfectly manicured and that's a good example of what you're going to see on the course itself. It's a beautiful course uh, at fair prices, and uh, in the birdie book this year, they're offering a four golfers for the price of three just about any time, as well as a free cart. Definitely stop by and take advantage of it. Starting off, we're going to take a peek at uh, the backside of hole nine here. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a long par five uh, leading uphill. The green is a, it's a tricky one. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Uh, we're going to pan over here to uh, the practice range which is a state of the art it's brand new um, there's quite a few uh, different things to do uh, on the range whether it be uh, just hitting balls or moving on to uh, chipping sand shots uh, whatever they have it uh, you know again the badgers play here this is a view of uh, hole one here's the tee box and uh, this is a good look of where you're going to start and the challenge that you're going to begin with uh, we're going to move back over here uh, real quick to uh, the clubhouse. They're building on a new pavilion, so if you have some groups coming in uh, uh, and outing you want to schedule, this is a fantastic place to have it. Um, you won't be disappointed. From the greens to the fairways to the practice greens to the sand, everything at this course is just about perfect. It's one of those courses that everybody talks about, but uh, not everybody can get to. So take advantage of the Birdie Book coupon this year. Uh, they're four for three, and uh, University Ridge is uh, uh, free cart in the Birdie Book. Again, you're looking at hole one here, uh, watching some guys tee off, uh, taking the challenge on number one. Very easy to get in some trouble here. Moving on to one of my favorite holes on the University Ridge Golf Course is hole number two. It's a par five. This is a dog leg right, and uh, one of the things you're going to see here is that you need to hit the ball at least about 220 or so to clear the rock bed down below. Uh, it looks like some of those guys uh, made it there, and some of them might not have. You're going to have bunkers on your right, and you're also going to have sand traps uh, behind the fairway. So if you hit it too long, you're also in some, some trouble there. This hole uh, presents another problem once you get a little bit closer to the green. There's actually a huge tree uh, just to the left of the green, kind of in front of it. But uh, if you hit a low fade, uh, it's not your favorite hole from that standpoint. But uh, we'll get another look at that as we uh, move into the fairway here. This is the view from the fairway, and there's that tree I was telling you about. Either better get it high and get it over that tree or uh, play some type of draw around it depending on if you're a righty or a lefty, but it's a, it's a great hole. Number three, uh, also a par three, is a fairly straightforward par three, but uh, you Ridge just put in a, a couple new tee boxes that you're going to see here in the video. Um, some make it a little more challenging. Those tee boxes you just saw were the old tee boxes. And a uh, fairly sizable green. There's a lot of room to land, but uh, obviously you're going to leave yourself with a uh, pretty substantial putt, which is uh, not everybody's specialty. On to hole number five, another par three. This par three is a little bit shorter than the last one you saw, but there is a ton of trouble uh, there to get into. A lot of sand traps around this. Uh, if you go right, you're dead. This is that same par three, number five, and uh, you're, you're kind of getting a view here from uh, the left side of the green, looking up at the tee box and all the sand traps that uh, can present a problem for your average uh, golfer. And uh, if you look across there, if you do go right, um, you're pretty much dead. There, there's no way to get out of that stuff. Hole number six, this is, a, I believe, the longest par five on the course. Uh, you're getting a look at uh, the tee box here. And uh, again, you're, you're teeing off over water here, and uh, it's a long ways. So you got to hit it uh, a pretty decent shot and uh, give yourself uh, a way in here.
Here's hole number six again from the fairway. And uh, this was a halfway decent drive, but you still got a mile to the green. I would say we're sitting about uh, 275 yards out. Um, one thing to take notice of here is, is just how perfect this course is. Uh, it's perfect. If you go left, though, uh, there is quite a drop-off, and there's a monster drop sand trap on the left-hand side up towards the green. Here's hole nine. Uh, this is a look from the fairway. We're looking back at uh, the tee box here. We're, we're kind of splitting it uh, halfway, but that's a look at the, the tee box there. And uh, spinning around here, you're going to see some of the fairway traps uh, that you can get into and a few of the guys that just might have jumped in there themselves. Now you're getting a good look at the uh, number nine green, which is again an elevated green. You're hitting uphill from anywhere on the right hand side, even a little bit on the left hand side. If you go too long though, you're going to be up on one of those hills behind the green. And uh, we all know how fun uh, chipping downhill is and uh, you'll definitely be doing that here. Uh, again, here's a look at the uh, fairway bunkers and uh, how difficult they can be to get out of. Moving on to the back nine, hole number 10, and uh, basically the whole back nine is uh, tree-lined. It's, uh, uh, in my opinion, one of the most exciting things about the course is both nines are completely different and offer their own unique challenges. As you can see, again, looking around, the course is uh, uh, well manicured, um, very nice everything, including the cart pass. Hole number 13, uh, another par 4. Uh, this one is an uphill par, par 4, definitely tree-lined. Uh, if you're a big hitter, you can definitely uh, give it a shot and maybe drive this one. But uh, uh, there are some bunkers on the front left-hand side that will definitely be a problem for you if you uh, get a little too far left. But uh, it's a birdie hole, and uh, you'll enjoy it. Hole number 14, another par 4. This is a pretty straightforward par 4. Uh, we're going to get a look at the tee box here. It's hard to tell from this angle, but uh, there is a tree on the far left there that you just might see. And if uh, you start your ball a little bit left out the tee box, uh, you can be in some real trouble. But for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Hit the ball down the middle, and you're going to have a great shot at the green. There's that tree again that I mentioned. Hole number 14, another par 4. We're going to take a view from the fairway here. This is the hole that, uh, you know, we were just talking about, of course. But uh, as you can see, if you uh, place your drive uh, in the middle of the fairway, You've got a, a great shot of uh, hitting the green. Unless you shank one off to the left there, you shouldn't have a whole lot of sand trap trouble. And uh, there's a look at that tee box that we saw just a minute ago. Number 17. This is a very challenging par 3. We're going to take a peek from uh, the green here up there. As you see there, that's the tee box back beyond that tree. And uh, we're standing on the green here. But uh, this is about a 200-yard par 3 from the, the normal tees. And uh, as you can see, uh, can present its own problems. Uh, <laughs> a few traps around the green, and uh, you got to hit the ball straight. So that's our quick recap of University Ridge Golf Course in Madison, Wisconsin. Please visit us at www.mybirdiebook.com. Get your birdie book today and take advantage of U Ridge's Four golfers for the price of three and a free cart. Thanks again.